happy to go. Those classic paper cups that we've seen in so many, especially American movies and TV shows, it's classic, it's iconic. We all know what that is. It's a very North American thing because I believe in Europe, it's a lot more the norm to sip and enjoy. But did you know that in the US alone, that there are 50 billion, that's with a B, of these paper cups that end up in the trash every single year. <laughs> when I looked that up, I was in disbelief. By the way, there are not even 8 billion people on earth. Coffee paper cups are not recyclable because it has a little film around the cup so that it makes it waterproof or water resistant at least for you to drink your beverage. And then you have the lid on top of it. Sometimes you also have the cardboard sleeve that's at least recyclable. Now that's a lot of different parts that end up in the garbage. Even if they were technically recyclable, they would probably end up in the trash just because recycling, not very effective unless it's paper. But even then it's always just better to reduce the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle in that order. That's what you want to try to aim for. So what if you could get a double wall insulated water bottle with a double wall insulated cup at all times with you? That is essentially what hitches because this water bottle has a little secret inside of it. You get the 18 ounce double walled cup and then you get a secretive cup to go. And then you have a cap that's always up here with the magnet and you put it up here cup that's inside of your water bottle at all times because I don't know about you but for me personally I am somebody that pretty much brings my water bottle everywhere I go if I have my backpack on me which is most often usually the case I will have my water bottle on me as well the rare events that I do end up going to get a takeout coffee or drink I do have that cup with me in a nice sturdy quality cup Hitch is also climate positive. If you've heard of carbon neutral, well, that's canceling things out, but they go a little bit above that by restoring forests, by removing ocean plastics, by reducing their packaging. And also they take back their bottles if anything happens to it. So they recycle it for you and you'll get a discount for a new one. Sending it back does require a little bit of transportation and stuff, but seeing as they're climate positive, they probably have factored that in anyway. It's a great initiative. Now we do have other products that can do this same thing. There are the collapsible silicone cups. In my opinion, it's not as pleasant to use in any way. It can maybe collapse. The base is really small at the bottom because it's collapsible. It doesn't have a really good feel in your hand. It's kind of like silicone rubbery and, and malleable. It doesn't look great. It's not a great experience. It's very portable, but I just personally looked into getting one many, many times and just always stopped myself because of that unpleasantness to use and possibility of failure in the sense that it would just like collapse on itself and make a big mess. So I don't want to deal with any of that. There are other products that are similar to the hit like a couple and a couple is cheaper. I will link that in the description down below. I'll link all of these things in the description below. This is also similar in concept to the Camelback Multibev. And this is by no means supposed to be a comparison video since I brought up the three, that there's a little bit of a difference between the couple, the Multibev and the Hitch. And also they're all at different price points. So depending on your function, either one of these may work. For the couple, the water bottle is not double wall insulated, but the cup is, and the lid doesn't fully close as in there's always gonna be a little opening that you cannot close for your mouth to drink out of. Now the Multibev from Camelback has a double wall insulated cup as well as water bottle, but it kind of looks ugly in my opinion when the cup is in use, not a big deal maybe for some of you. And also the lid for the cup is a roll up type of situation. I feel like it could also spill a little bit and it just doesn't really seem like an elegant solution to me, but it does work in its function. Both fit in the cup holder, unlike the hitch. More on that later. They didn't reinvent the wheel here, but I think that they still made a beautiful product that does fulfill a market need. In terms of spec, comes in four different colors. This is the off-white, beigey, creamy color. And in terms of the pricing, it is 68 USD. Free shipping is only after 85 US. So for Canadians, after conversion rate and shipping and all, you're looking at about 110 Canadian give or take. Since the conversion rates keep changing 
and then you may have some duties and taxes to factor in as well. This is not a cheap product at all. You have to really want to be environmental and have a nice quality product and cup in your hand to get this. And I am that person that likes to go above and beyond. I like to be environmental, but I also still like fancy things and I want it to be a pleasurable experience because if it's not pleasurable for me, I will not use it personally. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat. Oh, comment below if you're in that same boat. I would love to know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. The bottle is an 18 ounce double walled 532 milliliters. It has a height of 9.84 inches, 250 millimeters, a width, a diameter of 3.13 inches, 79.5 millimeters. So it's a little bit girthy. It's, it's a little uncomfortable to hold, especially compared to my well like water bottle that is also 500 milliliters, but that's not a double walled and it doesn't have a hidden cup on the inside. So it's not exactly a fair comparison either. Now the cup inside, this little munchkin right here, this one is a 12 ounce barista proof. It will fit anything that's 12 ounces essentially and less. 5.43 inches high, 138 millimeters, 2.87 inches wide, and 73 millimeters wide. So this cup itself here is good for a Starbucks short, which is an eight ounce drink, and a Starbucks tall, which is a 12 ounce. What's really great is, of course, that you always have the lid and this nice sturdy cup on you at all times. This has a nice little magnetic, this has a nice little magnet here that clips onto here, it's always there doesn't really come off. This screws into here. There's a little minus sign here and it screws in very nicely. And there's also rubber on the bottom so they don't slip off surfaces easily and also protects the surface when you put it down. Then what's really cool with this too is you can walk around with this one handed. So if you're in a rush and you're running around and you have the bottle in your hand, you don't want to put the bottle back in your bag or whatever, or you want to have both beverages in your hands, you can do so with this minus sign and the plus sign and locking it in. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? And then on the cup you hear, you have just this easy pull tab with this rubber piece and a little venting, venting hole there for you to drink out of and then you just push it and it's just a push situation. So I don't know how that'll fare with time. Oh no, it clicks in. It's a little bit difficult I find to open. Could create a mess when you pop it open. This is a rubber piece that looks like it could easily be a recent from the team. But for me, this is a product that is not in everyday use. Just the way I'm gonna use it is not gonna be an everyday use, it's gonna be a once in a while type of use. On the cup and on the bottle, you have this cute little metallic hitch logo that is also there. And it's this nice matte powder coated stainless steel. Unfortunately, the hitch water bottle does not fit in my cup holder, but the cup itself did fit some of my cup holders. That one may be okay, depending on the size of your cup holder. Though it did fit in my dad's car. The bottle, as well as the cup, are rated to keep your liquids cold for 12 hours and hot for six hours. Now, in reality, did it actually manage to do that? For the hot water, I measured at different times during a six hour time frame. It does lose heat, but I think that's probably gonna be normal for even the best of the double wall insulated types of cups and bottles. And you'll see that the cup lost a little bit more. And for the cold bottle, you'll see there's a little bit of a weird dip. I had put ice in room temperature water and so the water temperature did drop. I only measured the first time at two hours, but you do get an idea of it being cool at two hours and then incrementally getting warmer. And this is over the course of almost 12 hours. I ended just at like 11 and a half hours. So it does get back to a close to a room temperature at that point. I also didn't fill it up entirely with ice. That would be a very different result if I did, but I think it also gives you an idea. On what the cup is doing something interesting where it seems to have started with a colder type of water because I think there was just more ice per water ratio in there. And then it did lose temperature a lot faster than the cup. And this is not exactly the most conclusive or perfectly scientific test here. I did it one time, I did it at home. The cup seems to be a little bit less insulated than the bottle. Overall, they're both doing a pretty good job. I don't have stats 
or a repeated test to compare with other water bottles, but it's just to give you a little bit of an idea. I really don't see why you'd keep a cold beverage cold for that long of a time frame or a hot water for that long of a time frame either. And I also don't know how this will be affected in different weather. Let's say having a hot bottle outside for a two, three hour time frame or having cold, cold, cold water inside your bottle and cup in very hot weather. I have no idea how that'll fare or if it will make a significant difference. To take it apart for cleaning, all you have to do is remove the lid, remove the inner cup, and then you give it a nice little hit like that. And now what you do is you see this little, little piece right here. You align this with the hitch logo on the bottle. And you, re you clean it, you do all the things you have to, and then you will reinsert it back in. And there it is. I don't know what the long-term durability of this will be. Also, you can take all of this apart and put it in your dishwasher on the top rack for easy cleaning. Inside the packaging, a very, very simple packaging, you get a little brush to clean things and you also get this little lid protector, this optional accessory if you want to pop that on the top to close that up or you want to for some reason not have the cup which would make this just a regular water bottle and I wouldn't use this exclusively as a water bottle personally. I love this as a unit. I don't love this as a water bottle solely so that would be strange but you could do that and you could also cap that if you would like so no dirt or anything goes into there. Now that I've covered some of the basics, let's go into the review part of things. I think the finish is pretty good overall. I did notice some defects, not significant. I, the first one they sent me actually had a little bit of a problem and something was moving around loose here and they sent me one no problem right away. I just showed them some photos. I asked them, is this normal? Do I, how do I fix this? And they said, nope, that's a defect. And they asked for my shipping address and sent me a brand new one. Easy peasy. So customer service was great to deal with. I found that there were slight imperfections here and there, nothing significant, to be honest. Like it's, it looks pretty good overall, but you know, sometimes the lid wasn't perfectly, perfectly equal on all sides. Like really, really nitpicking here. I think most people would not know, but I did notice this. None of these defects have affected it in any way. The lids close really well. I've tested it. There's water in here right now. Nothing's leaking. I've done the test with both of them like this walking for a bit, nothing leaked. And it'd be very odd if you ended up doing that for some reason. And you would likely have this in a water bottle holder upright. In terms of functionality, what it set out to do and set out to accomplish as its main goal, which for me was having a cup to go whenever you need it, concealed, not taking up too much more room because it is taking up more room, obviously. They had to make the bottle wider. I think it does the job perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Other comments that I have, the cup is really great to hold. I have small hands, feels great. The bottle though, it's, it's, it's a girthy one. It is difficult to grab, it's difficult to hold. Maybe people with bigger hands will feel differently. It's also heavy. Even without the cup in here, it is heavy. And I don't know if a hydro flask is just heavy like this too. I don't know if it's because it's a double walled product and it's maybe just something I have to get used to. If you have a hydro flask, let me know. I'm used to a very cheap swell copy single walled type of stainless steel that was like the lightest thing ever, but it does feel heavy. I found that it was difficult for me to gauge how much water was left in there, but I think with time I will also get used to it. This weighs 1,232 grams right now with a full bottle of water and the cup empty inside. That's 2.7 pounds. That's a lot. That's half the weight of my MacBook Pro. And it was significant. I did definitely feel the weight. It, my bag when it's empty, the bottle is just on one side. I definitely do feel it. Not my favorite. It's made me not enjoy the bottle as much. I have seen some people comment about the heaviness and then some other people didn't comment about the heaviness on the Hitch website with the reviews, but I don't know if Hitch is moderating their reviews and they're only putting the ones that are conveniently only positive. But I did see on the Kickstarter, a lot of people when they received their Hitch bottle, 
they would say, well, I got the heat bottle, I love it, the only thing is it's really heavy. So saw several comments about that. Maybe it's just something to get used to. Now, in terms of what's good with it, I mean, it's a good looking bottle. I think it looks great. Kind of reminds me of a Kinto travel tumbler in design and look. I think that's really cool to see you could have cup in there. I, I'm happy for this to be my EDC. And also what's really great is it has a wide mouth and it makes it easy to fill up the water, but also to put ice in there real easy. So what is the best use case and who is this for? Personally, I feel like this is for somebody that is planning on using the cup to go every now and then and not necessarily every single day. It's somebody that would maybe grab a coffee on the way to work, take the cup out, get a drink and then get to work and finish your drink and rinse their cup right away, dry it and then put it back in. You can take the whole cup apart. You can clean it, but I think that would just be maybe a little bit annoying to do. So I don't think that's something that is really the best for its use case because then you're getting a lot of things dirty at the same time and not just the cup. The inside of the outer shell you would get dirty as well inside of here. So I think you would just want to avoid that in there. I think this is really more for the environmental or non-environmental. Maybe you just really like the feeling of this and don't like the paper cups and collapsible silicone ones, but somebody that wants a to-go cup every now and then. That's who I think this is more for an urban commuter for sure. I would say this is the people that would benefit the most from this product. But if you have this or you're planning on getting this, and you have a different use case scenario for this, do comment below, I'd love to hear. It'd be nice to, to see what else other people would plan to use and what scenarios they'd like to use this in. And somebody that would probably just use the main bottle as a water bottle. That's what I think this is for. My last words are, I do enjoy this. It does what it's set out to do. I don't think it's perfect. No product is perfect. I really hope that with volume and more sales that they will cut down on cost and it'll be cheaper and it'll be more accessible to people because right now the price that it's selling at and for other products that are similar to it, like the couple in the Camelback Multibev, which are certainly cheaper, it's not very competitive. And also the weight is unpleasant. The grip as well, maybe they can make it slightly taller, but then I know if they make it slightly taller, it's likely that it can fall out of water bottle pockets. And I have a hard time already fitting this into my Bellroy Transit work pack. I have a review of that as well. If you're interested, I'll leave that link in the description, but I find this difficult to put into that side pocket that's meant for water bottles. If it were to be any bigger width wise, any taller, I would have more difficulty. I think I could maybe wiggle it in, but it's, it's already difficult as is now. I don't know if there's a way that they could trim it down, keep the double walled insulated, make it a bit slimmer. Possibly, I'm not sure if there's even room for that, but that would be, that would be great. But as of right now, you have to really want this bottle because you're gonna be paying a premium. Not just the function, you, you like the way it looks and you like the way it works, but I would love to hear from all of you if you're planning on getting this or what other cups that you have or what other systems that you currently have. Whatever works for you. I just like the more minimalist thing of not having two cups on me, but actually I do have the bottle and the cup hidden. And that's what I really wanted at the end of the day. That's why I backed this. I thought it was cool. I didn't know about the other products at the time, but also I liked the way this looked. And the other one, like couple, is just more function, less design. So I wanted something that was appealing visually. So like I said, if it's visually appealing and it's nice to use, I will use it more. And that's the purpose. That's the whole point of it. That's why I, sometimes I don't mind paying the premium for something. And also to support small creators and also just to have something different out there instead of all the same things constantly coming out, especially from big corporations. So that's kind of my thought on that. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Share this video with your other friend. Ooh, sure. My, my light just went out. My key light just went out. So share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos on how to optimize your life through product reviews through how-tos, tutorials, mental health, and as well, I just love making videos about coffee. I do talk about optimizing coffee in those videos as well. And that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.